Hello and welcome back to Lorefet Gaming Plays Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. I'm your host Lorefet. In this latest Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar walkthrough video, we're on part 18. Now we're going to Impet Abbey and of course get the Candle of Love. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more classic games like this. Do not forget to hit notification bells to be updated and much more. In the last video, what we uh, did was is we finished the four remaining shrines. So the shrines are now done. Our goal for this video is Impet Abbey. That's very important. We got to get there, get the mystic armor. Yeah, that's correct. We're getting the best armor in the game. And finally, the count of love. Before we do all that, we're going back into the castle and get some information. Let's uh, get some information at the castle. It's going to be a refresher course, or if those of you are new here, why we're going to Impet Abbey, the Lyserium, and of course Serpent's Castle, or let's call it Serpent's Hold, as it is uh, later on in the latter Ultima series. Also Ultima Online. So we're going to do a double check. We're going to look for magic keys. We're going to need exactly two. You're asking, why do we need magic keys? In order to get this information, we're going to have to jimmy some locks. And no, it won't ding our uh, virtues. If it does, yeah, I will uh, test it. So we're gonna hit the J key, Jimmy at direction west, and then open the lock, and that's it. Now we're looking for a person here. This one I did him before uh, early on, but still, it's gonna be very nice as a refresher. So this is Zoran. Uh, help, seek help in the castles. Seek the Lyserium at the Abbey. That's where we're going to in Serpent's Castle, aka okay, Serpent's Hole. Will thou go Hilter? Yes, I will. Find there all named Antos and ask of the bell, book, and candle. Candle. Sorry about that. Now, Antos in Ultima 2 was very important. That's all I'm going to leave it at. And again, in Ultima 4, Antos is important once again. So our next stop is you. Or actually, the U Moon Gate. It's really close by. Seriously. So we're in Galdis Castle. Yeah, I almost forgot. So we're going to use our gate travel. You can use the uh, moon gate, but I feel like gate travel is the very best way to uh, go. Make sure you have enough reagents. Me, I have plenty. I've been farming them like crazy. So we're going to cast phase four after you cast gate. We're using Mariah or Jana to do it. So we're going to go a little bit south, but really we're going to go uh, west. And we can't go. We're going to follow the river. Yeah, just follow the water. Just do like I did a little south then a little west. And you're going to find Impet Abbey. This is a really easy location. It's kind of like Ultima Online. To find you or Impet Abbey, depending on where you're at on the two locations. There we are. We're going to go in, get off our horse. Now, be careful. This is a uh, uh, pride versus humility question. You meet a guard. Uh, which and she goes, I am a gate guard. Job. I a gate guard. Okay. Gate to, to the Abbey. Here in the Oak Grove, many find the meaning of peace and love. You say, are you thou saturated with love? No. Visit the small shrine within the abbey. You say yes, you get ding with the humility penalty. You meet a small but stately child. What's your name? Chin up. Nice to meet you. I welcome thee unto the abbey. Art thou here in search of love? Yes. Perhaps then the oak grove. Okay, we just confirmed one thing. Uh, one of the two people who uh, know about the mystic armor. Well, they said the grove. Guess what? The grove is here. Now, this part here is a refresher course or those you are, uh, you know, wants to uh, find the silver horn. And this is Suzanne. She's the one who knows about it. So we're just going to go name, job. She's a lady in waiting. Now, we say horn. And she points us to a paladin named uh, Malachor. So we're going to go ahead and say lady. And I serve uh, Marcy. That must be the lady in the throne or something. Art thou allowed to be here? We're going to be on and say no. She goes, you should leave. We're going to leave. But that's one of the information about the Civil Horn. It's a nice refresher course. Also, those who uh, need help with this video. You may enjoy it. Okay, I am Brother Antos. Okay, this is one of the brothers. Job. I hold great wisdom. Wisdom. What thou, thou ask of me? Candle. Dost thou need the candle of love to enter the abyss? And we're going to say, is those thou know where to find it? No, we do not. Meditate on love at our shrine. So we got to go to the shrine of love here in order to meditate. We'll do that a little bit later in this video. Now, uh, this is the normal guy. We're in North for now. This is the uh, paladin. We're going to talk to him. He knows about the Silver Horn location. 
I shown it in my Magencia video, but still, if you want a much more uh, short video, which gets to the you know quick quick solution, minus the uh, boat travel. But anyways, that's in Spirit Wood on some aisle. That is between uh, Scarabray and uh, Jellum. You go north of Jellum or south of Scarabray, and that's how you find the Silver Horn. That's the quick quick way. So now we're gonna do something else. We're gonna get one of the three syllables. The riddle kind of points us to it, so he goes, I am Lord Robert, nice to meet you. What's your job? I rule this providence. I'm going to put prov, my lady Marcy can tell thee more. Lady, okay. Now, we're going to say word. I know but one of the three syllables. Good to know. Uh, dost thou wish to know it now? Yes. And it is A-M-O, seeky now the other parts. Now, I got part of this information from start of uh, Juliet in the castle, Joshua in the castle, and then, uh, of course, in Cove, and put it together. And this is Lady Marcy. I am Lady Marcy. What's your job? I rule my lord. That is good. Rule this providence. We're going to do uh, POV. Our people believe in love as a way of life and live it to the fullest. That's good to know. Those thee thou seek love, yes, then may thou find it. Otherwise, she says, get out. You won't get penalized. But still, I'm going to be careful from here on out my answers. Now, this uh, next part is we're going to go ahead and search for the mystic armor. You're asking, why is that and not talk to people first? Well, here's the deal, everyone. If you uh, decide to talk to people and you accidentally answer the wrong question, you lose, uh, I think one of them will be partial avatarhood and uh, humility. You don't want that. So we're going to try to search. You got to search somewhere in the uh, grove. Uh, this uh, grove will actually contain the very best armor in the entire game. Let me try to figure out where it's at. Okay, I'm going to get that. And there we go. This is a spot where you find the mystic armor. You search here, you get eight pieces of mystic armor. So we say, oh, not ready weapon. Wear armor. So we're going to get me. We're going to hit H. Now you want to make sure everybody equips this. Now, good news is even if you uh, lose a partial avatar hood, like for example, humility, you get to keep the armor on you. And great news, everybody could use it. Every single class. So basically, you're going to get Mariah the uh, best uh, range weapon in the game and the best armor. That's a win-win situation. You could even give uh, Jeffrey and uh, Katrina the uh, best armor in the game. Now, uh, if there's the weapons, I mean, the armor's like this, the weapons should be like this exactly. I'll explain uh, more when we uh, get to the uh, location. I think I know where it's at. So we're going to go ahead and finish equipping everybody with this great set of weapons and armor and then move on to get some more information. Now I will definitely add one because I think I found one more piece of information in Cove or uh, Infant Abbey too. For this part of the video we're going to get some more information. I missed one NPC. I'll explain uh, after I'm done. Now give me a soul and ranger. What's your name? Uh, Lastro. I follow the spiritual path. Okay that's good to know. Path. Uh, let's type in spiritual. We'll see if that works. Uh, my spirituality is not a religion, but a search to prove and uh, uh, to know and improve my own inner being. Okay, so it sounds like spirituality does have to do something with uh, love. That's what I'm getting at. Uh, yeah, let's uh, get out of here. Okay, so that's uh, one down, and there's uh, four, so this is good to uh, know. Let's talk to uh, this person. Uh, you meet a druid lost in thought. What's your name? I am Deidre. I ponder love and justice. Okay, they go hand in hand. When three built eight, truth tempered by love becomes justice. Justice is one of the eight uh, avatar virtues and derives from truth and love. That's a double hint there. So, uh, justice goes with truth and love. I am Benjamin. Nice to meet you. I relate love and compassion. When the three combine in eight ways, love alone is compassion. Okay, that is good to know. So, compassion's with love. Uh, of the eight avatar app shoes, uh, yeah, okay, that's one I already did get. Let's talk to uh, this person. Uh, you meet a tall woman. I am Diane. What's your job? I counsel those who enter the grove. Okay, she's going to give you a uh, another one of those humility versus uh, pride questions. Here thou may find insights into love within thyself or with others here in the grove. We're going to say love. Ask the others. Art thou most loving person? This is a trick question. Say no, otherwise you get hit. Strive for love. Okay. Another thing is there was a tinker. I went back off screen and I did find 
out that the uh, tinkerer also talked about sacrifice. So it's sacrifice, justice, uh, compassion, and of course spirituality. Now we're going to secret patches. We're going to talk to this uh, guard. You meet a guard. She says, I am the past guard. Okay, that's a good name. What's your job? I guard the passages. Passages. There is no danger. Okay, danger? Well, not compared to the dungeon altar room. This is good to know. Very important. Hast thou solved the altars? No, I'm going to be honest. From them, a three-part key is granted. Needed to enter the chamber of the codex. This is important, so... We have to go into dungeons and eventually solve the altar puzzles, and that's it. And, yeah, there's some treasure chests. We'll leave that alone. So, uh... We have to do is uh, make sure we get the uh, three principles. So I guess that has to do with the uh, altars. That's what I'm guessing. If not, oh well. But they're still important. I remember that. So we're we'll gonna go ahead and explore the shrine of love, or the shrine of life, they call it. First, we're we'll gonna go talk to the beggar. I am Humlock. Yeah, and I'm gonna give you ten pieces of gold. Hey, thank us for your kindness. What's your job? I seek salvation. That's good. Salvation. Let's type that in. I am but a poor destitute beggar. I have nothing. Will you give me some money? Yes, I will. Yes, I would be so grateful. I already did. I gave you 10 pieces of gold. There's another 10. And thanks for the information, by the way. Now we're going to talk to uh, this Ankh. That's uh, life. I am life. Nice to meet you. What's your job? I resonate thoughts. Okay, what are thy thoughts? After I type resonate. I type love. Seek ye the candle of love from only with... It and the two other parts might thou enter the abyss. Dost thou have it? No. Ask the bar beyond the secret passage. So now we're going to get some information about the candle of love. Uh, thou knock out one of the three. We're going to need that in order to enter the abyss. Or they call it the stingy abyss. There's a expansion name after that and an ultima online. So we'll go back to secret patches. Now we're going to meet the bard. You meet a young bard playing a lute. That's good. I am Derek the bard. What's your job? I am a bard. I sing songs. Let's go ahead and talk about songs. Oh, all types. Good to know. Don't start like this one. Yes, I do. Thanks. I just wrote it. Love. Okay, we're going to type in candle. The candle of love is found in a secret place hidden off Lock Lake. Now, only place that's near Lock Lake is Cove. And I kind of found out there was a secret passage in the room. Yeah, the game kind of spoiled it. Yeah, you could tell by the walls. There's something hidden there. Oh, by the way... You're going to need some dispel magic for our next part. So we're going to go to Cove. We're going to cast our gate spell. The closest to is uh, Castle Britannia, or I should say number two. We're going to go ahead and do that. Now we're going to haul butt. Hopefully we get past the troll bridge. There's an orc. Hopefully we do get past that too. Uh, slow progress. We're going to have to be careful. All right, I'm going to try to do a speed through this part. Uh, cat, we're going to cast Blink too. We're going to need uh, that too. B, point east, and wave bye-bye to the troll. Now, next part, we're going to get poison. So, make sure you have plenty of cures for uh, this uh, next part of the uh, run. This is like the same as I went to the, in the Cove episode, but this time, we're only going there for one reason, a candle of love. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, stop for a moment. We're going to cast cure, and we're going to cure everybody as much as possible. There we go. Julia's cured. Katrina's kind yeah, she always gets poisoned. Then again, she live in Magentia. So, where we get to uh, this area, I'm going to pop the gem. Now, from here, at this area, cast a blink spell, go south, and that's it. This beats the ship, by the way. And it takes a while to wait for a uh, whirlpool. We'll uh, cast blink, and we arrive at Cove. Now, we got one go goal in Cove, which is uh, very simple, very easy. And uh, that is actually uh, to uh, get the count of love. So, I'm going to go over it one more time. Besides the blink spell and the gate spell, we're going to need is the dispel magic. Make sure you have uh, plenty of that. And if you uh, do not, I suggest you should mix it. Ask in the uh, comment section or I'll put in the description on uh, how to mix the uh, dispel magic. Or at least the uh, letters for it. So let's uh, double check. Everything looks fine. And yep, yeah, there we go. We got 10. That should be enough. So we're going to go from Cove from here. We're going to go to the uh, one Ankh we talked to in the Cove video. Uh, there it is right there. Now, uh, it's not this room, not that one, but it's this one on this side. 
Now you see the little white indent? That's like a secret patch. It kind of gave it away. I'm going to cast magic. And we're going to do is uh, dispel. That fire goes bye bye. And we're going to go ahead and enter. Now we're going to hit S and search. Nothing here. You find the candle of love. So that's one three eyes we need for the Stygian Abyss. Or the Abyss for short. There. So we got that. We got the skull. Hopefully somewhere in the Abyss we could toss the skull there and goes bye bye for good. Our last part of the video is simple. We're going to get to the castle and then I'll uh, tell everybody what did I learn in my travels. So let's uh, go this way. Say goodbye to the friendly seahorse. We won't get attacked. That's the good news. And voila. So let's go ahead and set up the uh, gate spell. And that should definitely uh, do it. So let's make sure I uh, do this right. And hit number two. And we're going to arrive at Castle Britannia's Moon Gate. Or I say Britain's uh, moon, moon Gate. And now let's go ahead and talk about what did I learn in this video. A uh, friendly mage in Castle Britannia told us we have to go to the castles. And we need to find the candle, the bell, and the book. Now, in Empath Abbey, the little greeter there said investigate the grove, which is a good reason. In Empath Abbey, people know of the Silver Horn. This is a nice refresher. I was, I'm going to say it again for people who need to look for the Silver Horn. One of the three syllables is in Empath Abbey and is off of a certain person, and the three syllables is A-M-O. Empath Abbey Grove has the mystic armor if you're eight parts avatar to search for. If you're not, you cannot find it. So... Make sure eight parts avatar before searching. Everyone can use and equip the mystic armor and it is the best armor in the game. Now this is what I found out including going off screen, uh, double check one piece of information. Love goes with compassion, justice, sacrifice, and spirituality. Also, uh, if I remember right, one of the other uh, three virtues, I think it was justice, goes with of course uh, truth. The dungeon altars can form the three-part keys, so the dungeon altars are very important. Hopefully you can find them. The candle of love is, is in the hidden village of Cove. Go search there and you get the candle of love. Here's a recap for this video. So after we visit the castle, we went to Empath Abbey. Got some very valuable information, including one of the three syllables. Found the mystic armor. And finally found the location uh, where the candle of love is at. We went to Cove and retrieved the candle of love. In the next Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar walkthrough video, we're going into the Lyserium. This is it from my Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar walkthrough part 18 in the Abbey and the candle of love video. This is Lord Fent signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern games just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or you two suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. May the eight virtues be with you.